You can see that the farmer's wife uh, painted everywhere, in even the ceiling. So the van driver dropped us in this. Uh... This is one of the houses and uh, they are going to open another one. In Dobre, according to our in-house uh, Poland expert, Poland got the, the prettiest village, uh, the most beautiful village here. So I was like, really, you got, you got uh, Switzerland, Austria here, not far from here. And uh, do you think Poland got the best, the most beautiful village? I will all show you so you decide if Poland got the most beautiful village. So everyone, welcome to this new video. We live in this uh, uh, housing area. Um, it's like 40 miles from uh, Krakow, which is the big city. So it will take some time to get to this village. If we, if we were living in Krakow, it will be a bit more easier, but uh, we'll see we are taking the public transport according to the websites everywhere you need to have a car so we are trying to get there by public transport so it will be an adventure so when you uh, visit Poland uh, try to stay in Krakow so if you want to see the Schindler's factory or the Auschwitz or the village we are going to see now everything is accessible from Krakow so Krakow and the old town is so beautiful so you need to be you need this you need to be in Krakow if you want to visit Poland so bought the ticket validated uh, in this machine and uh, we are going to the center of the center of the town now so we took the local bus to the center of the town and from here we will take uh, they usually have this mini bus uh, going to uh, going to Krakow, you know, the big city. So let's take the minibus now. So we got onto the minibus now. So on the way to uh, Krakow, it will take an hour. Go to the Krakow bus station now. On top of the uh, bus station is uh, the train station. So we are waiting here to buy ticket and uh, the Polish babushka is a bit slow. It's only like two people and we are waiting here for like 15 minutes. I didn't manage to record anything outside because uh, we were buying ticket and the lady said uh, in five minutes you got train. According to Google map it's half an hour but apparently obviously Google map Google wasn't updated or what, well, I don't know what happened it's uh, some special train uh, so we jumped onto this train. It's a quite modern train and uh, I could buy it on, on the train instead of waiting outside. So this is the machine and uh, you could pick uh, language English and uh, and uh, that's the place we are going, Tarno. This is a quite uh, modern train and uh, look, looks really beautiful. Really, really comfy as well. And uh, that's, that's the company, uh, Malo Polska, which is the regional train. <laughs> so we reached uh, Tarno now. Uh, it's a quite big station. Obviously, plenty of tourists coming here, probably. Right then, so we need to get out now and uh, find way to get to this village. So down there is the Tarno train station where we, where we came and uh, just walked a few minutes and uh, that's the bus station, Tarno bus station. So we went to that bus station and asked and uh, so the the village we are going, the colorful village, the it's called uh, Zalipie. Is, uh, there is no buses so you need to catch these uh, mini buses they are not that often so we are here around midday 12 o'clock and uh, next bus is half 12 so we need we got like a half an hour wait train station there is like a little counter <laughs> selling bread and uh, they got quite a nice variety of bread so maybe I will buy something so we got a big uh, 
map of the lip uh, turn off here and uh, and uh, these are the attractions you can see in turn off don't ask me what these things are but this this building look uh, interesting looks like some old old church so I'm on this uh, second mini bus now and uh, and uh, it's not exactly in front of uh, the the train station you have to walk a little bit further and uh, and uh, we asked few people and uh, one of the the drivers said here and uh, we jumped onto this one there is no board or anything to saying it's going to that village so uh, anyway we are on the right minibus now so the van driver dropped us in this uh, middle of nowhere <laughs> so from here we need to walk like a kilometer and a half to get to this village maybe that's why there was no uh, board on the bus saying Zalipie because it wasn't going to Zalipie it is going somewhere else but we need to get off in some random place and uh, walk to Zalipie so yeah so it's a kilometer walk kilometer and a half walk from this place to uh, this village that's why uh, online they were saying you need to have a car it's easier when you walk on this road you can see this uh, few signs of the the colorful uh, village so our bus stopped end of that road our minibus and we walked this way and uh, that's the board saying Salipie you know the village we are entering so this is the most beautiful village in Poland. So let's uh, let's see what's the uh, what's the beauty here. But uh, so far it looks similar to any other village in Poland. Poland, there is plenty of these fruit trees um, on on the street or on the on the uh, people's garden, and they always like uh, apples and uh, plums. You could see. You can see everywhere and uh, they are all falling on floor so we are walking and walking and uh, we didn't find any colorful houses but there is some uh, very beautiful houses here with the garden and everything and uh, I think uh, all the colorful houses are further down so after a few minutes of walking we got to the uh, like a museum area and uh, there is a uh, because these houses are kind of spread out so they put a few houses together and made a like a little museum here so let's go inside and uh, look around this museum first and then we will go and visit few of these houses as well so what the ticket is 10 slot per person and uh, they have this in this board all the information about how this all happened and thing and uh, there is a tour as well so we are waiting for the tour see that it's a quite popular thing it's quite a lot of tourists coming here to visit so this is the lady who started everything and uh, earlier it was all black in this room so she kind of started painting uh, so this is the kitchen, bedroom, and uh, this is how uh, the things in Salipia started. So this is this is the woman. I think she was living here from 1903. This is that that woman's uh, original cloth. You can see that uh, she is not that tall, maybe five foot, and she hand painted every single thing in this room, and uh, she also made her own clothes. So, yeah, made it very beautiful. This is one of the houses, and uh, they are going to open another one down there. Finally, that's also another beautiful house. It's similar to what we seen earlier. Um, we got a kitchen oven thing and also the also the bedroom you can see that the farmer's wife uh, painted everywhere and even the ceiling so they made it everything beautiful you know because it was all early it was all black and uh, you can see how much effort they put in
thing in this uh, uh, separate room they put all the old type farming stuffs this is uh, another room oh very similar to the earlier one so there is a uh, one more house uh, in that corner there so she's uh, taking us to see that one and it's another beautiful house and you can see the roof is uh, it's a uh, thatched roof the house is not that the, the ex ex entrance is not that big and when you come inside there is a animal shelter area animal keeping area and uh, the main area so this is uh, another original house uh, you can see a little uh, kitchen area there and uh, all the furniture from from the old village pots and pans and everything and the bed is made of hay the the mattress and also babies are also sleeping in hay so there is uh, another room here and uh, where they keep all the farming stuffs so we are leaving the the Salipia museum the painted house museum and we are going to the actual village it's only like it's around the corner not around the corner uh, another an hour a kilometer from here and uh, you need to turn left apparently and that's there is all the houses are these houses are like uh, spread across this area so you need you really need to have a car if you want to see all these houses so we just uh, walked around took some few photos of these houses i also got a like a village center here let's go inside and have a the village center is also like nicely decorated like like the houses are and also they display the uh, the the pic the photos of uh, different houses the nicely decorated houses and uh, some of them are just rooms and uh, some of them are the whole houses yeah there is quite few houses here and also there is a wall showing all this uh, women of oh, men and women who painted all this all this uh, nice houses and uh, when they born and died so this is the little village hall so we walked around a little bit more obviously so that's the village the beautiful village in the beautifully painted village in Poland so yeah we took we took some pictures of uh, different houses so all houses were closed you can only go outside so yeah that's the end of our tour of Salipie village so I hope you enjoyed this video I will see you next time so we need to take the minibus back to Tarnow train back to Krakow and back home so see you later